Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, so here we are. We're going to keep working on the player GUI. In the last video we worked on the HP bar, kind of made it work. Uh, now we're going to have to go into player um, and just add a few of these functions so that we can uh, so we can work with these, right? So we can make sure our GUI works. So I'm just going to define all of these really quickly. And these are just some basic things. I'm, I'm keeping them in player because uh, I don't want to access the attribute component directly. I want to do it through player. And I'm going to guarantee in player, there's guaranteed going to be an attribute component because I added it. Uh, so I know that I can use it. And there are more things that we could do directly in the player that I'm doing in the components, which isn't all that smart, but you know, we'll just leave it as it is right now. And we'll get back to that a little later. So I'm just going to put functions there and I'm going to do accessors right here. So these functions are going to be pretty simple. Anytime I want to lose EH HP, I'm just going to say this attribute component hp minus equals hp okay very simple very simple now this is only going to happen if um uh, let's see let's see let's see hmm should we do the if statement afterwards so we're going to minus the hp and then we're going to say if this attribute component is less than zero i'm going to set it to zero okay it's pretty simple pretty simple i'm just gonna copy paste this into gain hp and i'm gonna just change this to a plus and this if statement what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say larger than and control boom and say hp max here okay if it's larger than hp max i'm gonna set it to hp max very simple right uh, and the same things for exp so lose exp just going to copy the whole thing into lose exp just make sure you're very careful with what you're typing here so exp this is what i want exp exp all right basically what you have to do is just copy this and then change everything from hp to exp uh, exp if this exp so we gain exp gain exp gain exp what we could do here is we could say this attribute component uh, update level we could do that and then let's just go into attribute component here, CPP, and let's check out what that does. So we always already had a gain exp in here. We could do that. Just use that. Uh, anyway, update level. So what update level does is it kind of levels you up, and then update stats will be done once we increase any one of these. So let's just use the update level or gain exp function that is already existent where is player here hmm sorry about that guys I just forgot we had that gain exp exp okay since we already have that function we could actually just get it but you know this this is this is better this is better all right so we're just gonna keep it like this uh, we do have an unsigned integer here, though. Unsigned integer. We're probably going to have to change that. Player const unsigned. Right there and right there. And also in the HP here. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so there you go. Now, that's that's better. We won't have any warnings. And we're just gaining a exp right here that's good 
Okay, all right, let's just keep it like that for now. It doesn't really matter, but those functions are complete. Now, 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 we do initialize a font. So we have the possibility of a text. And this is going to be all the HP bar stuff. All right. Right here. So we're going to have a text object that is related to the HP bar. And then we're going to also have a exp bar like that with the level and everything but we're just going to start with this sf text hp bar text keep the name similar just to remember what's going on so in it hp bar um this hp bar text dot set font this font okay so at least that's step one complete i just gotta see if i'm doing this all right okay let me think now so we got the font what are what is our hp text going to be basically it's just going to say hp and it's going to have all this beautiful stuff uh, which is going to be the actual hp text now we're going to have to think about how we're going to print that out since we're calculating stuff in here, updating the HP bar. Uh, do we have a render HP bar? Yes, we do. Okay, so let me just take care of that first. First of all, we're going to do this. And then we're going to say target.draw this HP bar text. So we make sure we draw it. All right. And when we're updating the HP bar, we're actually calculating the percentage. We are setting the size of it. What are we doing? We're getting the attribute. So I'm just going to copy this. And we're casting it to a float. So we probably don't want to cast that to a float. Uh, 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 uh. This HP bar text dot set set string. Okay. Mm, and it's using a reference right there. So let's see. We don't want to. We don't want to mess that up. Um, let's see. Let's see. So that is a string. You know what? We're gonna use this a lot. Okay. So. So we're just gonna say hp bar string and we're going to customize that because we're going to be using it a lot i don't want to define it all the time same thing with percentage actually i probably don't want to define it all the time it's going to be on a loop pretty much so but anyway this string equals um equals std2 String, oh, two string is an expensive operation. Hmm, it truly is a quite an expensive operation. Let me see this. Uh, probably gonna have to do a two string on that. Anyway, this HP bar string. Okay. That this should not work at all. HP max. Boom. Okay. All right. Let me just run this. Let's get the error and some reason didn't get any errors okay uh new game okay that's very weird that is very strange but i think that's that was the error actually so we're gonna have to do std to string all of this and then 
if you can't access this, you're probably going to have to use or you're going to have to include uh, the string library too to be able to do two string. Um, okay, so we set the font. The text was visible. Let's run this. I really don't like the two string, but at least you can see that now right there. So that is that is uh, that is working. Um, now it's just a question how we want to display it. So usually people display it like that. We're gonna need to set the position of it. So I'm gonna actually initialize it last here. I'm gonna say this: HP bar text dot set position. Um, this HP bar inner dot get position I guess dot X and I'm gonna get the position Y as well so we can customize this a little bit all right plus 5.f maybe like that whoops what am I doing am I dumb okay there you go and this maybe will will say plus 10.f um just to move it on to the right a little bit yeah, so once you do that once you do that it should be visible i really don't like two string but we'll we'll make sure we figure that out somehow all right new game all right six out of six you can see the text it's nicely not really centered but it's it's there it's there okay now six hp isn't a lot but to test this Let's go to player, uh, where is it, game state? Let's just do this last thing before we end the video. Game state, game state. And in game state, we're gonna go to where we update the input for the player. Okay, right here. And anytime we move down, Let's see. Anytime we move, ooh, this is gonna it's gonna kill the character instantly, pretty much. But let's just try it out. Why not? Uh, anytime we move down, we're gonna say this player lose HP, one HP, and then let's do if this get key time then we'll lose one hp so we won't die instantly uh, but it will slowly lose hp while we're walking downwards so hopefully we can see that reflected into the hp bar and once it's zero it's zero okay once it's zero it's zero now if we were to copy this no copy this and paste it and move up as well but instead here we'll gain some HP, then we'll see that those functions work and that um, gain HP. We'll see that the GUI actually reacts to the player's health points because it's all constantly updating itself. Okay, so we're going down, we're going up, we're going down, we're going up. All right, it's not going above six and it's not going below zero. Okay, and the beautiful GUI is just reacting the way it should there you go guys and girls that's it just go ahead and remove this uh, like this one keep the bracket thingies here because you know we might do something else in here later anyway looks great thank you so much for sticking with me hopefully everything is going well please consider checking out the description box all every you got all the nice links down there uh, also drop a like subscribe if you like the content okay thank you so much take care and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one right bye bye